Good evening, my dear brothers. It's right now three minutes after two, actually two o'clock a.m. Friday morning, New Year's, January 1st. I just finished my Sechnes Nadarim. I went from all the way to Pedalad on the base to Tzadik Aleph on the base from nine o'clock this evening the 31st of December to one o'clock in the morning. I sleep five to one. Last six, seven blocks, basically four hours. I did that in the woods, Miss and uh, of Shandoa over there. Why did I do it? Because I learned about Hashem these swarm over here, Moisture Azair. At least eight times I finished this safer, these two swarm. I Hashem finished this safer for my first time. Follow us, sir. Skulish Lema. And learned all those swarm several times, several swarm, Shnaiis, everything, several times. And I do always do it, Loyal Nishas, for several Nishamas. As I finished the Masechta. But what happened was recently I saw a Mara this evening of a certain, since I learned the Zayar several times here, and the Zayar brings down that a person says at the Vatayra by Shab's table, it says over the Vatayra for someone in the past, so that the Shaman Shemayim. They put kasroinus on him and they menashik him. They cheer him up for saying such a nice about Tyre that's set over. And on this world, besides for that, his lips move over in his in his in his kever, and they say over the Tyre's as he's as you say b'shem him. That's what the Zayir Kodesh brings down. So I actually went to BMG at one o'clock in the morning on Seventh Street in the Yosh, and I found a minion there to make the seam to say the Kaddish. So what I'm saying about this Tavataya, and how the Elf of Dolls desire brings down also, if a person has a mitzvah to do and he doesn't do it, he gets, when he goes up to Shemayim to say, Oy loy, oy lo, the Shama Zois, the Chas Hashem didn't do this mitzvah, and they give him big bushes, Shein Kamoyu. So there's a certain Shama that not too long ago passed away and did several favors for other people and didn't do me a favor. And it was in his and this person's gather to do me a favor and to help me set up a house or something, a place to live and help me shaduchim, help me get married and things like that. And fight her. For the past 20 years that I'm divorced, for all the redifas that I went through. So this person went up to Shemayim and everybody was screaming at him, how do you, how could you leave over such a tzaddik down here on this earth? So Masmit, and was in your hands to either buy a house or to help and this and that. And he ends up living in an office and he's sleeping. He's becoming that Mishnah day and night, learning Yigisa Yom Malayla. And how could you how could you come up to Shemayim and leaving such a person on the earth in such a such a place? And they're giving this person big boost to Shank and Mayu, they're not letting him have any manuchas. This is Shama and Shemayim Manucha. So just as it's brought down this week's Pasha Pasha Vaychi, I said this over by the Siam that when Yaakovina passed away, the Shvatan came to Yosef and asked him, Ana Sana Pesha Khatah. Come and take back our chet that we did to you, that we bought you down, we, we sold you as a slave, and this and that. And sin, the Mrs. Farm and the Gemara bring down that since Yaisa didn't say, Machalach, 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 and instead said, What do you think? Hashem sent me Lamechia, you, you, you thought the Ra, Hashem made good, I did look what to, to hold up such a big nation today. He should have said, Machalach, 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 they wouldn't have to go to Goldus. But since he didn't say machalach, 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 they ended up going to Golis. Kali so I ended up going to Golis. That's what the Sharm 
It's supposed to Svarim say, and the Gemara says as well. So I made sure to be Meichel this the Shaman Shemayim that she should be rest in peace. Not only that, I gave her credit for my learning, I gave this person credit for my learning, and credit for the safe that I just finished in the Kabbalah as well. That she should be able, to, this person should be able to sit in Shemayim and rest in peace, even though she has this person has all the embarrassment of uh, of not helping me out by settling me down, and marrying me off, and giving me a place to stay. I end up staying in an office like this and living like this in the office and start stri striving and tire away. So I was totally moichel that person. I'm not gonna say the person's name because after we saw some. The, 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 the Lashon Har is even greater, like it's brought down. The Torah brings down very carefully in Parshas, the Parshas of the, 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 the two, two sons of Aaron when they died. The Torah does not mention which sons they are. It says, Achai Moish Shnei Yahai. doesn't say who. Because what, because why does the Lima from that to, Pasuk is basically that Lashon Hara after a person's death is even worse. And the Havdal of Adolus, like the Gemara says, to uh, what happened to uh, the Yerichias in the Vulchanetza, what they did to Klai Yisrael, that the, the farm turned into Sheikh Zera and Soya, and the, they're having Aish underneath it, fire underneath it, burning in such Gehenim. The Havdal of Adolus, what's gonna happen to those people that made me end up in this situation? Like the Lakewood Scoop, people from the Lakewood Scoop, and um, fast, I mean, made me lose my job, made me lose my manasa. What's going to happen to them? What type of Gehenim, what the type of farm they're going to end up burying after they get and die? What type of Sheikh was there? And so, yeah, their bodies are going to be soaking in when they, after they die. What type of Gehenim? They're going to probably be in ice and King Karach, and the, the, the grazing is probably turn into ice. Sheikh Zera, Tsoya, and Shreifas, and everything, all these types of menor that the, the graves are going to turn into for the, the, the humiliation that they cause me and for the tsar that they make me learn this Torah, the Torah that I have to learn the Torah in. I'm the elf of those, how, how bad their chorus are going to be, and how bad they're going to If this Shama could go up to Shemayim, and this Shama got such busha. It's Shemayim that the Mara showed me that they're not letting her, this person sit in peace because she, this person did not help me out by buying me a house and settling me down and, and, and everything else. They're not letting her sit. And I'm Weichel Belayf Shalom. And comparison that she's getting, this person's getting in Shemayim. And I give her the credit of my learning. I share the credit not only a Michael this person, I give the credit of my learning and the credit that I just finished this Kabbalah Sefer and learned Zaya several times. That this person should be able to rest in peace in Shemayim and then go go, go to Gan Eden. And I'm Michaelach, 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 that this, she should be able to go into Shemayim and to Gan Eden. Well, anyways, I, I ended off with two gemar, a few Gemaras in the Dharm. First of all, in the Dharm, since it's the gay, this, this, this Indian also, of, of being Michael, this person, is the Dharm. The people usually who make the Dharm are people who have big anguish against other people. They don't have, they, they can't be with Kaiba after Echa, the way it's supposed to, like a certain mission the Dharm brings down. And most of the Dharm a person makes. It's against the after and it's not him, so he can't be it. And like the Umar says, the Muslim Sram bring down that a person makes the Dharm, it's Kila, Kila Bana Bama. And a person's Bekaimit is going to give him a carbon. A carbon. So a person should not make it in the Dharm, and he should be Kaimit after the way he's supposed to, and like people the way he's supposed to. And not cause sorrow for other people. That they, they should have to make the dharm, to stay away from him, and always be kind after Achmach, the way they're supposed to. 
And there's another Gemara both down and while I was in BMG. And there's a Gemara in the Dharma that brings down that person who pays pays schar limit. It's not supposed to pay schar limit for the schar for the limit that a person's teaching teaching a son, the person's son, but for the shmira. But the Maestri Gemara says that the whole limit Torah that a person teaches a son, a person's son, is because is is at the actual shmira for the kid. Because by teaching him Torah, he's been showing me the nafesh. He's been showing me the goof of the nafesh and the goof of the of the child to go in the right way. So that's the shmira. That's the actual shmira. So that person's paying schar limit. He's paying for the actual limit also because that that limit is the shmira for the child. So that's what he's paying for. That's the gemara and the dharma also. So anyways, the gemara ends off the story. Ends up with a story here that a certain uh, a certain um, I'll say in English, last piece of Gemara here. A similar incident. There was a certain adulterer who entered the home of a certain woman. The husband came home. And the adulterer went and stationed himself behind a doorway curtain for concealment. It was some crest lying, brisk of bread there in the room that a poisonous snake had tasted while the homeowner was away. And the homeowner wanted to eat some of that crest without his wife's knowledge. The adulterer said to him from his place of concealment, Do not eat of it. The snake has tasted it. Having discovered that adulterer in his home, the husband was concerned that perhaps his wife was forbidden to him. Amr um, Rav said, in Sashaya, his wife is permitted to him. In Isa, the Ovid for if he had been so that the apparent adulterer actually committed the sin, he would prefer that the husband should eat of the crest and die. As it is written, for they have committed adultery, and there is blood in their hands. The Mar wonders why Rava needed to cite the verse Pshita. It is obvious that a true adulterer would have let the husband poison himself. The Mar answers Maldatema Yisura Ava. You may have said that the apparent adulterer did actually commit the sin of adultery. I hide the Amale. And that the reason that he told the husband not to eat the poison in the crest is the Nehle the Nehmes Baal that he prefers that the husband not die to have an insi so that his wife should be to himself the adulterer stolen waters which are sweet and bread of secrecy which is pleasant Kamash Milan rather therefore needed to inform us that we do not say this rather we deduce from the verse Rav cited that the true adulterer would have saved the husband's life for he would have preferred for the wife to be widowed so that he, he could then marry her uh, originally that actually would rather meant to say that that he would rather that Ravas, Rava, the Mara passed, passed like Rava, that rather that a person would rather the, the husband die, that he could stay, he could marry the other wife, than rather have it, have his stolen waters. So that's uh, the end of the Gemara. So I didn't, I didn't finish the Gemara the way I was supposed to. I happened to be very tired, and I had to finish the seven blood to be finish this, the Masechta for this person's Shama, that she should be able to rest in peace, and people should, should, should let her have the schus of my learning, Torah, to put to put this person's place in a nice place in Shemayim. And the fact that this person is not, is not a fault fully for what this person couldn't support me in Make sure that I should be in a place where I'm supposed to be, in a nice, nice home, 
It was those those redifas of the people that are eventually going to end up and worse than Menor in their graves and worse than than Sheikh Vazera in their graves who were, ran after me and made me in such a situation that I have to live like this. Those are going to be your fault. And this person should, should have full mechila and shemayim and be able to rest in peace even though this person did not buy me a house, did not buy me did not make sure I got married off again. And, and this person should have full mechila and be able to rest in peace in Shemayim. So, I, I to all my brothers and cousins and friends, I like to share this Masechtas with you as well. As you should have a schus and learning and chazaka and learn more and steig well, that we should all steig together and eventually help each other out to places to live and you know, and look what's good to see the malice of our friends and help them out and support them that they should be supportive and eventually have where to live and have food and everything and they do chesed not to say the chesed is chasashal me the slime like Nebuch, what a lot of people think when a person does a mechesed, they think, oh, he's trying to have uh, relationships with me. That's what a chesed, the midas daim is. No, we do chesed because we like each other. We have a shohava to each other. And if a person doesn't understand it, then eventually they, they get, that's why we're suffering. The corona, and all the hurricanes and tornadoes. This is midas daim and midas amabo or pe pe people like that. If they only did chesed to people to order to have to do adultery and to do uh, terrible things and not to do chesed to Amazoy to show how this is wrong but that's why we're suffering these days call to my dear brothers have a great and wonderful evening and have a happy new year and we should have a good year call to bye bye